Namaste, good evening to all. Sit comfortably. It is the same password and ID as the morning session. It is not changed. You can use the same password and ID. So sit comfortably, back straight, eyes gently closed, fingers and chin mudra, thumb touching the index finger. You are sitting in the chair, sit that you are sitting, see that you are sitting tall, eyes gently closed. You can rest your feet on the floor. If your feet are not resting on the floor, then fold a mat or a, put a cushion and see that your feet are resting. Don't let the feet hang loose. Observe the whole body. And see that there is no stiffness. Your back, neck, head in a straight line. Bring the awareness to the breath. Observe the normal breathing. Check how the breath feels. The breathing is happening on its own. You are just observing the breath. Do you notice any changes in the breathing pattern? As you are watching the breath, what is happening? Do you find that there are thoughts coming and going? If so, let go of the thoughts and bring the awareness back to the brain. Do you feel the slowing down of the breath? Any imbalance in the breath automatically gets corrected as you continue watching the breath. You can mentally chant Om with the breath or any prayer that you normally chant. Breathe in, chant the prayer mentally and as you breathe out, chant in the mind. Continue with the chanting for a few more rounds. Om or any prayer that you normally chant. As you continue with the chanting, feel the calmness. Slow down and stop the chanting. Palms together, Namaskara Mudra. One round of Omkara followed by the Sahana Bhavatu prayer. All together, inhale deeply. Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavahai Tejasvinavati Tamastu Mavidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Gently go down, taking the blessings from the God of your choice or a higher reality to the divine. May He protect us both 
May he nourish us. May we get the necessary strength, stamina. May there be no hatred in us. No peace, peace, peace. With a few blinks, open the eyes. So today's uh, session, we're going to be more mindful. We're going to be more aware of the breath, of the body. So we'll not be doing any new practice, just repeating whatever you've done in the yoga for heart health. So before we start the session, uh, a thought to ponder on. So you can also reflect on it later also and get back to us. Now they say that all these uh, disorders, these heart disease is also called a disorder because it says that it can be corrected. They even high BP, yes you have the high BP, they say you have been taking the medication. Can it be corrected? Can you stop taking the medications? Can it be corrected? Yes. So all these are called disorders. So this, this in the order which is there can be corrected so that everything becomes to order. So here we say stress is one of the cause for all these psychosomatic disorders. Why is it called psychosomatic? Because the origin of all these disorders starts in the mind. And from the mind it percolates to the body depending on different various factors, your hereditary, your genetic condition, your lifestyle. And one of the factors is stress. Either it is a back pain or a high BP, a knee pain also is saying that yes, it is called heart stress is also one of the cause. So let us understand what is stress. So if you take in normal terms, they say stress is a response to a demanding situation. So situation is there outside and it is our response to the demanding situation creates the stress within us. Yeah? So the stress can be a physical stress that you have to put in a lot of hard work like how we are doing nowadays in COVID times all the housework we have to do which we have not. Maybe one some a few things we have done before but now everything right from sweeping, swabbing, washing vessels, cutting vegetables, cooking, everything has to be done right. Washing vessels after that. So, a lot of physical activity we all are doing, which we have not done before, but we are coping up with it, right? But certain times we are not able to cope up with that, and that causes stress. So, it says that stress is a response to a demanding situation. Now, this response varies from person to person. Yes, a demanding situation is there. No two people react in the same way or respond in the same way. So, that is how we understand stress. But according to yoga, let us see what stress is and how it affects the body. So that since we are, we, we are aware, we can correct the pattern. So in yoga, stress is defined as the speeded up state of the mind. The same thought patterns get repeated and it is taking up a speed. And the speed is so much that you are caught in that speed and you are not able to come out of the speed. So that is what stress is defined as in yoga. See, thoughts are there, right? Suppose, like, let me give you an example. Here we say that, um, see, nowadays uh, the connection is there, right? Because of thanks to technology, even in the lockdown, we are able to connect, we are able to have even the yoga sessions. Even sitting here, I'm able to talk to my doctor somewhere, yeah? We are able to connect to each other. But think of days before where we were not able to connect, or even now with the days of the mobile, Suppose I am there, I am going out and I told my family that once I reach the place, I will call you back. But on the way I am talking to somebody and suddenly my phone charges out and I am not able to call my family back home. So what happens, not everybody, some people think, okay, maybe she's got, you know, tied up in some work, so she's not calling me back. But uh, somebody else will think, oh, why she did not call me back? Why she did not call me back? I told her to call me back. So the same thought gets repeated and it picks up speed. Oh, why didn't she call me? Why didn't she call me? Why didn't she call me like that? So this speed is what is causing the stress. And how it is causing the stress? They say this speeded up state of the mind. Because of the speed in the mind, they say the prana flow in the body is not regulated. The prana flow in the body also is there is a lot of imbalance. So because of this imbalance in the prana flow in the body, it gets settled in the body, different body parts, depending, like I said, depending on our genetic conditions or our uh, personality type or our lifestyle, a lot of factors depend on it. So now that we know that 
What is stress? Is the speeded up state of the mind. What is the remedy? To slow down the speed. Slow down, slow down. So instead of saying, oh, why didn't I call? Why didn't I call? Why didn't I call? Why didn't she call? Why didn't she call? Why didn't she call? You can slow down. Why did not she call? Why she did not call? Why? Why? If you slow down, see automatically your response also slow down. And then you begin to think, oh, maybe she, uh, the battery charge is gone. Or maybe she got tied up with some other work, right? So the speed, speed is not there. So now that we know that speed is what is causing the stress, can we try and slow down? So slow down at all levels. They say body is just not the body. You have the body, the prana is there, the mind is there, the emotion is there, the intellect is there. So at all these levels they are saying slow down, prashamana, prashamana. Prashamana means to slow down. What is yoga? Beautiful definition of yoga given by Sage Vasishtha in his text for Yoga Vasishtha. He says that yoga is mana prashamana upaya. What is upaya? A solution. Solution to what? To slow down the mind, to calm down the mind. And that is what yoga is. So, and what is yoga? We do a lot of practices, right? In yoga, we do our breathing practices, your stretching, your asana practice, pranayama, relaxation, dhyana. All these come under yoga. So you choose what your practice is. Maybe you can do two stretching and breathing depending on your body condition and then do on with, go on with other practices. So here, when I said this, why, why did I start with the stress? Because awareness is very important. So today's practice, you're going to be more aware and mindful so that at the end of the session, you are going to tell me how you felt, okay? Now sit comfortably. We will let us use the Hridaya Mudra. You must have done this mudra before. Hridaya Mudra, very useful mudra for the heart. It's also called the Aparana Vayu Mudra. So you fold the index finger at the base of the thumb. The middle and the ring finger touching the thumb. The little finger is straight. This is called the Hridaya Mudra. Palm on your thighs. Eyes gently closed. Observe the breath for a few rounds. You are sitting in the chair also, sit comfortably, back straight. So let us start the session with the neck movement. You do the up-down movement and synchronize the movement with the breath, bend. As you breathe in, you stretch up, look up. Breathe out, bend. Breathe in up. Breathe out, bend. Breathe in, breathe out, continue. One more round, breathe in up, breathe out, bend. Breathe in, back to the center. Eyes closed, stay there for a few breaths. Observe one or two great breaths. The next variation, you turn to the right or left, breathe in. As you breathe out, you gently turn right. Breathe in, center, breathe out, turn the other side. Breathe in, center, breathe out, turn. Breathe in, center, breathe out, turn. Turn right or left. As you breathe out, you turn. Breathe in, center, breathe out, turn the other side. Continue. Turn left. Back to the center and release. Eyes closed. Observe the breath for two rounds. The next variation, you're going to bend to the right and left. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bend right. Breathe in center, breathe out, bend left. 
Breathe in, center, breathe out, bend. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, as you breathe out, you bend. It's only movement around the neck joint, neck muscles. One more round. Once you finish, back to the center. Observe the changes around the neck joint, neck muscle, your upper back. Your fingers are still in Mudra Mudra. Let the palm rest on your thighs. Just do a simple shoulder movement. Breathe in, raise the shoulder up, breathe out, stretch back down. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. Breathe in. Breathe out, one more round. Now change the direction from back, raise the shoulder up, down from the front. Breathe in, breathe out. One more round. No release. Now your fingers are in Hridaya Mudra. Just shift the awareness to the point of touch. When the thumb is touching the two fingers, the index finger is, is at the base of the thumb. Just awareness at the point of touch for a few counts. Check for any vibration. How does it feel? It is just a touch, you are not pressing the thumb to the fingers tightly, just a light touch and feel the sensation at the point of the touch. Now gently open the eyes, release. We do the tiger breathing, you come on to your force. Those sitting in the chair can use the chair as support. You're standing, bend in such a way that your palm is resting on the chair and then you do the practice. Those sitting down, knees one foot distance. Bring the forearm forward and then take one more palm distance on your foot. Separate the feet, starting position. Palm knee foot is in the same way. Back leg is parallel to the floor. Breathe in, stretch up, look up. Breathe out, bend. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push the back up. Breathe in, stretch. Continue with your eyes closed. Breathe in, breathe out your full capacity. One more round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now release. Really stretch the arm forward. Forehead on the floor. If you not feel that you are not able to place the forehead on the floor, make a fist. Place one palm over the other and rest your forehead on the palm. Those who are standing, you can sit in the chair and just eyes closed and relax for a few breaths. Breathing is normal. Now gently come up to a standing position. Those sitting in the chair can sit in the chair or if you want to come up to a standing position, you can come up to a standing position. Separate the feet, leg is one foot distance. Check that the feet are parallel. Arms by the side of the body, palm facing forward. The body is straight. Eyes gently closed. Check that you are balancing the weight in Knee on both the feet. Now 
the feet closer. You can bring the feet closer or slightly apart, whichever is comfortable. Feet closer if you feel that you're not able to balance, keep the feet slightly apart. Or if you want to sit in the chair, sit in the chair. We'll do the hand stretch, breathing, interlock the fingers, palm on your chest, breathe in, stretch the arm forward, palm facing out, breathe out, come back. Breathe in, stretch, breathe out, come back, elbows by the side, eyes gently closed, continue. Breathe in, stretch, breathe out, come back. Breathe Breathe in, stretch, breathe out, come back, one more round, breathe in, breathe out, release, arms by the side, eyes closed, observe the breathing for two rounds. Now the next variation, interlock the fingers, palm on your chest, you raise the arm up at an angle, palm slightly above the head. Breathe out, come back, elbows by the side, breathe in, stretch, breathe out, come back, continue, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out to your full capacity and synchronize the breath with the movement. One more round. The knees, arms by the side, eyes closed. Again, bring the awareness to the breath. Now the next variation, interlock the fingers. You raise the arms straight up. If you're not able to stretch up fully, raise and stretch to your capacity. Breathe in, raise the arm up, palm facing up. Breathe out, come back. Breathe in, stretch. Breathe out, come back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Continue. Now breathe in, stretch, breathe out and stay there, stretch as much as you can. Feel the upper arm close to the ears, pull yourself up, feet firm on the floor, stretch to your capacity, give a good stretch to the body, breathing is normal. Pull yourself up, breathe in, as you breathe out, come back, arm back on the chest, release, arms by the side of the body, separate the feet. One foot distance. Check that the feet are firm on the floor. We'll do a simple twisting practice. We will also do a variation. You can also do sitting in a chair. Arms by the side. There is no movement to the lower portion of the body. It's only movement from your waist. Kati Chakrasana. The left palm on the right shoulder, right hand behind the back. Breathe in. As you breathe out, gently turn right and stay there. Eyes closed. Don't let the shoulder collapse. Twist and maintain to your capacity. Breathing is normal. Breathe in, back to the center. Breathe out, release, arms by the side of the body. Now the right palm on the left shoulder, left arm behind the back. Breathe in, as you breathe out, gently turn to the left. Twist as much as you can and maintain. Twist your capacity. Maintain with normal breath. Breathe in back to the center. Breathe out and release. Arms by the side of the body. 
we do a variation of this twisting practice. Those with stiffness around the shoulder or your arm, you cannot raise the arm straight up. Continue with the simple Kati Chakrasana. Again, leg is one foot distance. Arms by the side. Inhale, you raise the arm up. Exhale, interlock the fingers and stretch. Pull yourself up. Stretch as much as you can. Breathe in. As you breathe out, gently turn right. As you turn, your head does not turn. Upper arm is close to the ears. Your head and your body in the same plane. Maintain there. Breathe in, back to the center, stretch, give a good stretch. Breathe out, turn the other side. Normal breathing. Breathe in, back to the center, stretch. As you breathe out, release, arms by the side of the body. Leg is one foot distance. You take the hand behind the back, interlock the fingers, palm facing out. You pull the arm away from the body, but don't lean forward. Let the arm stretch back as much as you can. As you breathe in, move the arm away from the body. Breathe out and stay there. Eyes closed, normal breathing. Breathe in, breathe out, release. Um, resting on your back. One more round. Breathe in, stretch. Move the arm away from the body. Breathe out and stay there. Now release. Arms by the side of the body. Separate the feet. We do the Ardha Kati Chakrasana practice. You've done the practice before, but as in yoga they say, practice, 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 then you realize the benefit and it becomes comfortable staying in the asana position. They say initially you have to put in that effort, but with practice it becomes effortless and you begin to enjoy staying in that position. Feet closer, arms by the side of the body. Those sitting in the chair also can do the practice. Now inhale, raise the right arm up, let it come back. Exhale, palm up. Inhale, raise the arm up. Upper arm close to the ear. Exhale and stretch. Give a good stretch to the right side of the body. Inhale, as you exhale, gently bend. Palm sliding down the leg. Don't drop the head. Stay there, normal breath. If you feel that you're not able to stretch your arm, you can fold the arm fingers on the shoulder joint and maintain there. Bend from the waist. To the left side, feel the stretch around the right side of the body, stretch around the back. Breathe in, back to the center. Breathe out and stretch, give a good stretch. Pull yourself up. Breathe in, as you breathe out, arm in line with the shoulder. Breathe in, calm down. Breathe out, arms by the side. Separate the feet. Observe the change between the right and the left side of the body. We'll repeat on the other side, feet closer or slightly apart. <coughs> Inhale, you gently raise the left arm up, let it come back to the floor. Exhale, palm up. Inhale, raise the arm up. Exhale and stretch, give a good stretch to the body. Inhale, as you exhale, gently bend right and stay there. Bend to your capacity. Breathe in, back to the center. Breathe out and stretch. You pull yourself up. Breathe in, as you breathe out, arm in line with the shoulder. Breathe in, palm down. Breathe out, arms by the side. Separate the feet. Eyes closed. Observe the changes with the practice. We do a balancing practice. Balancing asana helps to bring the steadiness. We did the Garudasana last week. Same Garudasana we do. First, let's practice only the arm movement. Those sitting in the chair also can do the practice. So you bring the arm forward. 
you take the right arm from in front of the left arm and then wrap the arm around and see if you can join the palms together and maintain there. Don't drop the arm. You can raise the arm up and stay there. If you're not able to touch the palm, wherever you're able to reach, you're just hold, able to hold the side of the palm. Hold the side of the palm and stay there. So here's a good stretch around the wrist, twist around the arms. Now release, arms by the side of the body. Then repeat the, um, the other side. Again, bring the arm forward and turn. Now the left arm from in front of the right arm. Twist and turn the palm in such a way that from back you're bringing the palm so that the palms are touching each other. You maintain there. Don't let the palm be pressing against your chest. Raise the arm up, upper arm up and stay there. Now release, arms by the side of the body. Again, the leg movement goes with knee pain. I'm not doing it. You can continue with the arm movement. Or sitting down, you can like last time I showed you, sit down and just cross the leg and stay there. And then do the arm movement. Very important that those with knee pain are not doing this practice. You can sit in the chair and do it. I turn sideways like this so that you can see. So what you do is you wrap the right leg in front of the left thigh. Take it in front of the left thigh. Wrap it around and with the big toe and the second toe, hold the back of the ankle. You're folding your leg. Left leg is folded down a little. Stay there and then wrap your arm around. Look at the point so that you don't lose the balance. Now release your arm, release the leg. Like I said, those with knee pain, take care, sit in the chair and do the practice. Sitting in the chair, just cross the leg over the right, left over the right, and your foot can be touching on the floor. Even standing, if you're not able to wrap around, just foot by the side. You just bend a little and then do the arm movement. Now the left leg. You wrap, take the left leg in front of the right thigh, wrap it around, and with the big toe and the second, hold the back of your ankle. Stay there. And then wrap your arm around. You lose the balance, do it again and again till you get the balance. Check that the feet which is firm on the floor is firm. Now all the toes are pressed down. Breathing is normal. No release, arms by the side of the body. Separate the feet, arms by the side, eyes closed. Observe the changes. It brings about a steadiness. And with the steadiness, calmness, the breath slows down. We'll do the drill walking. Drill walking in the same place. If you have a place, you can even walk in the room. But here now I'm doing it in the same place, but as slowly as possible. Opposite arm and leg comes up. Make a loose fist. Ten rounds. Slowly let the arm swing up and down. If you're not able to balance, you can hold the chair or hold the wall. Or hold a grill for support. Continue for 10 rounds. Slow down the movement. Again, look straight so that you don't lose the balance. After 10 rounds, slow down and stop the practice. Release arms by the side, separate the feet.
check how the breath feels, eyes closed. Very useful practice to improve the circulation, loosen up the stiffness from around your lower back, tone up the thigh muscles. Again, since you're swimming, swinging around to your capacity, helps to loosen up the shoulder joint, any stiffness from the upper back. We'll repeat for one more round, 10 counts, opposite arm and leg comes up. Slow movement. Normal breathing. One more round, slow down and stop the practice, separate the feet, arms by the side. Now so take your time, lie down on the mat in such a way that you go close to the wall, leg is up the wall. Those lying on the court, you can lie down on the court, keep pillows, two, three pillows and leg up the pillow. Or if you're lying down, if you're not comfortable with the leg resting on the wall, you can keep the leg resting on the chair also. So lie down comfortably. So go close to the wall, fold the leg, lie down on the mat, and then take the leg of the wall. Arms by the side, fingers in prana mudra, the last two fingers touching the thumb, the middle finger and the ring finger, arms by the side, feet can be closer or separate, whichever is comfortable. Check how the back feels. Let the entire man collapse on the mat. Toes, preferably that the toes are pointing forward, the heel on the wall. If you're not comfortable, then slight pointing sideways, but don't let it just collapse like this to the side. Awareness on the breath for a few rounds. Eyes gently closed. Now shift the awareness to the abdomen. You can keep a palm on the abdomen. Watch the abdominal movement. Abdomen winding up, sinking down. Awareness on the abdominal movement. Feeling the abdomen bulging up, sinking down. Now synchronize the breath with the abdominal movement. Inhale, abdomen bulges up. Exhale, it sinks down. Inhale, abdomen bulges up. Exhale, it sinks down. Synchronize the breath with the abdominal movement. Continue for two rounds. Let us chant three rounds of Akara. Each time breathe in, as you breathe out, continue with the Akara chanting in a low pitch. Awareness on the abdomen. Inhale. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Continue to observe the changes with the practice. Observe the whole back totally collapsed on the back. Continue to feel the calmness. Again, this is a very useful practice to help you improve the blood circulation. The return through of blood to the heart. You can do this as a daily practice. Now take your time. Come on sideways, fold your leg and then lie on the mat with the leg folded. Fold the leg and lie on the mat. Arms by the side of the body. And do the dorsal stretch. You raise the arm up, or arm can be by the side of the body in your line with your shoulder, which is comfortable. Breathe in as you breathe out from up, arm in line with your knee, head off the floor. Breathe in, go back. Breathe out from up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Continue. One more round. Release arms by the side of the body. You stretch the leg forward. And do the ekka pada pamukkasana. Inhale, as you exhale, you fold the leg and press the thigh to the abdomen, interlock the fingers and maintain there. Left leg is straight, toes pointing up. You are not able to bring the thigh close to the abdomen, just interlock and fold as much as you can and maintain there. Eyes closed. Now gently release, stretch the leg forward, arms by the side, feet closer. Now fold the left leg and then press the thigh to the abdomen, interlock and stay there. Breathing is normal. Right leg straight, toes pointing up. Release, stretch the leg forward, arms by the side of the body, separate the feet. Now again, gently fold both the legs. Check that the feet are firm on the floor, arms by the side, feet together. If the feet are together, knees together. If you feel that while raising the hip, knees are going out, then separate the feet also. Hip width distance. Your feet and the knees should not go beyond your hip. Arms by the side, palm facing up. Inhale, raise the hip off the floor. Exhale down. Inhale up, stretch up as much as you can. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more rounds. Once you finish release, let the leg feet be separate, hip foot distance, knees also separate, bring the arm in line with the shoulder, then put the number twist, breathe in, as you breathe out, twist right, head opposite side, breathe in center, breathe out, down the other side, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Continue. Continue for two more rounds. And then lay on the opposite side. If you the knee, knee doesn't touch the floor, it's okay. Twist to your capacity. Give a light stretch around the hip, Udena. One more round. Twist right, left, and back to the center. The knee stretch the neck forward. Arms by the side of the body. Feet closer. And with the other Matsya Asana practice. Again, you stretch, fold the leg and bend to your capacity. Now raise the right leg, right foot on the left thigh. Bring the knee down as much as you can. Left leg is straight, toes pointing up. Raise the arm up, stretch. Give a good stretch and then cross the arm and hold the opposite elbow. Place the arm on the floor. You are not able to hold the opposite elbow. Just reach wherever you are able to reach and stay there. Breathing is normal. Now release, arms by the side of the body. Slowly straighten the leg forward. Now bring the feet closer. Now fold the left leg. Left foot on the right thigh. Bring the knee down. You are able to fold the only so much good enough. Don't press the knee down. Don't use force. Right leg straight, toes pointing up. Give a good stretch, both hands above the head. Cross the arm, hold the opposite elbow. Normal breath. Now gently release, arms by the side of the body. Separate the feet. Arms by the side, palm facing up. Check that your head is in a comfortable position, eyes gently closed. Any stiffness on the lower back, you can fold both the legs. Observe the whole body from head to toes, up to the fingertip. If you want to make any slight adjustment to the body, you may do so. But let the whole body lie still on the mat. Let the whole body quickly collapse on the mat. Now observe the body lying still. Bring the awareness to the breath. Observe the breathing for a few rounds. Observe the changes to the breathing pattern. You will notice that the breathing happens on its own. There is hardly any effort involved. Continue watching the breath. Now shift the awareness from the body and listen to the sounds as they come in boom. Moving the awareness from sound to sound. Listen to the different sounds that come in boom. If you are in a closed air conditioned room, you may not be able to hear the sound. Only maybe the sound of the machine. Otherwise, if the windows are open, just listen the different sounds that come and go, the voice giving the instructions, move the awareness from sound to sound. Sound away sounds, sounds closer to the body, sounds from inside the room, sound of the breath, or sound from within the body. Sometimes we might hear the 
gurgling sound from the stomach. So any sound which you feel that you can hear from the body. Observe the body lying still on the mat or on the cot. Bring back the awareness to the breath. The breathing is slow, rhythmic. And with each out breath, visualize the body further collapsing to the mat, releasing all the tension, stiffness. Breathe in, observe the breathing. And with the breathe out, visualize the body sinking onto the mat. Now when you are watching the breath, if you feel any stiffness around the body, you feel that you might want to move your body, make slight adjustment, you may do so. In each out breath, the body is further collapsing to the floor. Body further sinking onto the floor. Now inhale and exhale as slowly as possible to your full capacity. No jerk, no stoppage of breath. Slow, deep breathing. Slow, deep, breathe out. Notice that the breathe out is a little longer than your breathing. Continue the deep breathing for two more rounds. Now shift the awareness to your heart and visualize that as you breathe in, the prana is energizing your heart, the heart muscles, and as you breathe out, let go. Inhale slowly and deeply. Feel the prana energizing your heart, the heart muscle, and as you breathe out, let go. Inhale, visualize the prana energizing your heart. As you breathe out, feel the calmness, relaxation. Now stop watching the heart. And with the breathe out, chant Omkara in the mind for three rounds and feel the vibration of Om throughout the whole body. Let the breath come back to normal. Continue to feel the slowing down of the breath. Calmness, silence. Observe the whole body lying still on the mat. You feel light. As you feel the body releasing all the stiffness and the tension. Stay there for a few more breaths. Just be aware of the body. Continue to feel the calmness, enjoying the silence. Give gentle moment to your toes. 
Move your fingers, join the feet together. Right hand or left hand above the head, gently down to the right or left, whichever side is comfortable. Stay there for a few breaths. Let the head be resting on the arm. Take your time, let the eyes be closed. Come up to any comfortable sitting posture. Back straight. You can also sit in the chair. Arm on your thighs, fingers and chin mudra. Back straight. Let us do the Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, alternate nostril breathing. A very useful practice to help to balance the breath between both the nostrils. It's a very useful practice to bring about an emotional balance, to balance your emotions, balance the left and right side of the brain. And as the name suggests, Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, it helps to cleanse the channels through which the prana flows. So chin mudra with your left palm, use the Nasika mudra, thumb open, next two fingers are closed, last two fingers open. Easier to close and open the right and left nostril. Breathe out fully. Now close the right nostril, breathe in left. Close left, open right, breathe out right. Breathe in right. Breathe out left. Breathe in left. Close, open, breathe out, right. Let the full breathe out happen. And slowly breathe in, right. And breathe out, left. Continue. No jerk, no stoppage of breath. Inhale, exhale to your full capacity. One last round. See that you breathe out through the left nostril and stop the practice. Let the eyes remain closed. Release the mudra. Awareness on the nostril. Observe the balance of breath between both the nostrils. Feel the slowing down of the breath. Let us do the Brahmari Pranayama for five rounds. Each time you breathe in, breathe out the Brahmari sound. The sound with the exhalation to your capacity. The ng sound from the throat. Fingers in Shin Mudra. You roll the tongue up, tip of the tongue touching the upper palate. Breathe in. The primary sound in a low pitch. Continue for three more rounds.
Let the eyes remain closed. Continue to feel the calmness, silence. Maintain this calm, silent state as long as you can. In the silent state, when the mind is calm, let the state resolve some kalpa, praying for the welfare of everybody, let everybody be happy, let everybody be healthy, let there be positivity around us, let everybody be free of miseries and sorrow. Namaskar Mutra, Omkara and the Shanti Mantra, Sarve Bhagavad Supina, all together. भद्राणि पश्यन्तु Gently bow down, expressing your gratitude to your elders, the gurus, your parents. Release, bring the palms together, rest the palms, generate a warmthness. Make a cup out of your palm and place it over the eyes. Continue to feel the warmth. Gently rub the facial muscles, the neck muscles, move your arm around your head, your shoulder, your arms, the chest, abdomen, your back, the thigh muscles. The leg, bring the palm forward with a few blinks. Open the eyes. Thank you. Hope you all enjoyed the session. So, like I said, mentioned.